Amy Klobuchar didn't know the president of Mexico. Is that a big deal? Hi, thanks for watching, and I'm glad to be back. I was taking care of some stuff, and it's taken care of. So I'm glad to be making a video for you today, and I want to talk about this event that happened where Amy Klobuchar and Tom Steyer were interviewed, I think by Univision, and they didn't know the name of the president of Mexico. Now, is that such a big deal? We'll get to the story in just a minute. But I do want to say that after the story, I'm going to do my own world leader quiz, and we can see if we know who some of the world leaders are today, okay? So let's get to the article. So here we are, Rolling Stone. Watch Amy Klobuchar, Tom Steyer get stumped on name of Mexico's president. Uh, both Democratic presidential hopefuls, Amy Klobuchar and Tom Steyer, could not name the president of Mexico during a Telemundo interview in Nevada. They thought it was Univision. There you go. I'm wrong again. <laughs> but... Um, when Venegas asked Steyer, a billionaire businessman, the reporter said, I'm asking because I feel like a lot of the time, this is our neighbor to the south, and a lot of people don't even know his name. So, do you know his name? I forgot, was Steyer's response. And uh, when Klobuchar was asked, what do you know about the president of Mexico? She first said she would visit Mexico in the first hundred days of her presidency and said she knew he'd been recently elected. And he followed up saying, I ask because it's so important, especially to Nevada, California, Texas. Do you know who he is? Do you know his name? She fumbled for a response. Yes, yes. She said it first before saying, I know that he is the Mexican president. And that was just cringe. That's just cringe. Uh, but can you tell me his name? He asked. No, Klobuchar said. And it's embarrassing how she couldn't own up to it. Here's here's that video clip. I, I'm sorry to ask this, but do you know who he is? Do you know his name? Yeah, yeah. I um, I know that he is the Mexican president. But so. can you tell me his name? Uh, no. So. Don't you think it would be important if you're running for president to know who the president of Mexico, the country to the south of the United States, is? Yes. Because it, it affects so many Americans. Uh, Mexican Americans are the largest Hispanic. Uh, the, the largest number of Hispanics in the U.S. are Mexican-Americans. Of course it is, yes. But is that such a big deal? I mean, why would a senator from Minnesota know anything about Mexico? It's not like she's on the Subcommittee on Border Security and Immigration. I'll look right here. <laughs> Subcommittee on Border Security and Immigration, Amy Klobuchar. Yeah. Yeah, you're not doing your job, Amy. This is this is a really bad look, and it's probably disqualifying, in my opinion. And the thing is, not only is Mexico bordering the United States, we have so much to do with Mexico, but it's one of the largest countries in the world. I mean, the United States is as well, but Mexico is number 10. I think... If you want to be a world leader, you should probably be familiar with the leaders of, I don't know, some of the biggest countries in the world. So, if you don't know, well, just ask. Who's the president of Mexico? It's Obrador. Now, for whatever reason, I keep flipping it in my head and I keep thinking it's Obregón. That, of course, is the Mexican general uh, and president, revolutionary leader of Mexico. And... I'm very familiar with his name. It's, it's, it's big in, in Mexico City. And for whatever reason, I keep flipping them back and forth. Obrador is the current president. Obregón is the historical hero. Okay. But, um, yeah, she should know that. Tom Steyer, whatever. I don't, I don't care about him. But, but Amy Klobuchar should know that, uh, considering that she's on that subcommittee. But... Let's take a look at the other top 10 most populated countries in the world and their leaders. So, number nine is Russia. Now, right, you would hope that any presidential candidate would be able to name the leader of Russia. I mean, I know because I get a check from him every month. 
It's Vladimir Putin. But everybody should know that, just like everybody should know the president of Mexico is Obrador. Now, the eighth largest country in the world is Bangladesh. And that, of course, is just to the east of India. And, yeah, do you know the leader? I didn't either. His name is Abdul Hamid. And you think, well, that sounds like a Muslim name. Well, that's because Bangladesh is a Muslim country. Did you know that? Yeah, interesting. Um, the seventh largest country in the world is Nigeria. And we should really be paying attention to Nigeria because it's growing so quickly. It could be as big as the U.S. in 10 years or so. So we need to keep a lookout for that. But the leader of Nigeria is Mahamadu Bahari. Mahamadu Bahari. And um, yeah, you should probably, probably know that. That's a big country. Now, the sixth largest country in the world is Brazil. And you would think anybody running for president would know that it, uh, it's Bolsonaro is how we, we say it in English. I think it's, uh, I think they say it, uh, Z.A. Bolsonaro in, in Portuguese. I'm, I'm probably butchering it, but uh, Bolsonaro is the leader of Brazil. The fifth largest country is Pakistan. And, you know, <laughs> fifth largest country in the world. That's uh, Arif Alvi. Arif Alvi is the president of Pakistan. Did you know that? I didn't, I didn't know that either. So there you go. The fourth largest country is Indonesia. Now, this guy is really, really fun. Uh, his name is uh, Joku Widodo, and he does a J-Lo thing where he shortens his name, and he goes by Jokowi, Jokowi. And that's uh, kind of fun. If you look at him now, I wouldn't say he looks like an Asian Obama. But some people might. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just, just saying. Now, the third largest country in the world, most populated, the United States. And our leader, of course, is... Now, the second most populated country in the world is India. And India's leader is Ram Nath Kovind. Ram is a, a fun first name. I like that. And the most populated country in the world is China. China's leader, do you know? It's Xi Jinping. And yeah, I think anyone running for president should know these things. Do you need to know all of these leaders? No, I don't think you do. I gave you a list of 10 world leaders, how did you do? I got about half, maybe. I don't know. But if you are running for president of the United States, you need to know the president of Mexico, Obrador. And if you don't, it seems disqualifying to me, but that's just my take on it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Peace.